showed you the recap of how Jerry Lawler was injured, Jerry had an interview that he sent to us, and here it is right now. Ronald P. Gossett the fourth. Now, I know you can hear my voice right now, and I know there are several other guys around that can hear my voice right at this moment, too. I'm talking about guys like the Samurai, Tojo Yamamoto, Phil Hickerson, Mr. Devastation, and the Master of Pain, all your little cronies that were involved in putting me out of action. And I'm sure that each and every one of you thought that you had done just that. I'm sure you thought that you'd done away with the king permanently. Well, I'm here to tell you, fellas, that I'm feeling pretty good. As a matter of fact, I'm feeling real good. But what I want you guys to do is start looking over your shoulder. Every time you step out of your house, you better look around. And every time you step out of your car, you better look over your shoulders. Because as I said, I'm feeling real good. And you never know where or when I just might appear. And I want you guys to realize one thing. I've got something very special in mind for each and every one of you. And especially you, Ronnie P. Gossett. So from this moment on, as I said, you better be looking over your shoulder because the king is going to be around. I feel good, Gossett. The only slight problem that I'm still having seems to be with my memory. I can't quite remember whether that doctor said I should stay away for a month or was it just three weeks? <laughs> I'd say Mr. Gossett better kind of look out because the king just might be around any corner that Ronnie P. Gossett turns these days. Well, with, uh, got, well, I, I see uh, some of the, there's P.Y. Too High and a master of pain coming out here. I'm a little surprised Ronnie P. Gossett is not with him to come out here and uh, run his mouth. I don't know. But, uh, I see what they're doing. Yeah, Master of Pain checking under the ring. Hey, well, you, you guys are looking for the king, aren't you? Don't know, but what he might be around here somewhere, huh? Phil says the PY2I says, okay, don't see anybody. They're all checking the audience there. No. Is that the king? Nope. Yeah, checking around. Checking the corner back in the back there. And well, they're headed toward the uh, toward the dressing room. I heard I heard P Y Chu I say, "Okay, Ronnie." And we got Mr. Gossett nervous here, I think. And <laughs> yeah, the Japanese team, Shogun and Samurai, surrounding Ronnie P Gossett. Tojo with the kendo stick. Ronnie, I, I think the King's got you a little bit upset here. That him got you got you thinking, huh? Let me tell you something, Dave Brown. Eddie Marlin may make all these matches and, and do all these things and have all these open contracts. But he doesn't have an open contract with me. I am not a wrestler. I am a manager. And let me tell you something. Last week after that match with Jeff Jarrett, my blood pressure was 230 over 140. I went to my doctor and he told me, Ronnie P, you're in bad shape. I have an 85% blockage of my heart. Oh. It is enlarged the size of a basketball, Dave Brown. I'm a very sick man. I'm in terrible shape. Oh. I have no color in my face. I could go at any moment. And another thing, let me tell you something, Dave Brown. I know this will end my illustrious wrestling career, but my health comes first, and I will never, ever wrestle again. I'm completely through with wrestling. I can't even watch scary movies. I know these people are very sympathetic to me. You can tell by the way they're cheering at me over I there. I can tell about how sympathetic I'm they are. very sick. In fact, it makes me sicker to look at you, Dave Brown. I, I want to tell you this. I don't believe... Let me tell you something. When I get through talking, I'll tell you. 
You've got Houdini, Jerry Lawler, popping around out of here with his magic act. I know what he's wanting to do. These ignorant fans know what he's wanting to do. He's wanting to scare me to death. He's wanting me to have a massive coronary. You know That's what? exactly what Jerry Lawler wants me to do. I, but I'll tell you this. Let me finish. I'll tell you this. My lawyer, F. Lee Babcock, my friends, and my family, they all know. And if Jerry Lawler causes that to happen to me by jumping out on me at the matches or coming up behind me anywhere, he'll be sued and he'll be ruined. I'm a very sick man, and I can't stand this. You know, you, I, I don't think you're a sick man. I think you're just a coward, Ronnie P. Gossett. Let me tell you something, you half-wit. Jerry Lawler can come out here with a vet. Here, ex excuse me. Oh, excuse yeah. Excuse yeah. my digitality. <laughs> okay, Ronnie. Jerry Lawler can come out here with that veterinarian he has, and he can tell you he can play softball, and he can do all these other things, but that moron can't wrestle. And you believe him, and you don't believe me. I can't even watch scary movies, Dave. That Brown. was his doctor. That was his Friday doctor. Teeth again. I am a sick man. The doctor told me, Ronnie, you're not an athlete, and you can tell I'm not an athlete. I'm not a wrestler. You're not an athlete. Oh my goodness. The fire! My goodness, it looked like Freddy Krueger coming out here, but I think the fire gives us an idea. You guys better help Tojo out here. He just got just got hit full in the top of the of the face with that fire. That someone who looked like Freddy Krueger threw at him. And there he goes. Finally got, uh, got Tojo out of here. Well, you notice it didn't take Gossett long to go firing out of here. He just ran right out of the studio immediately. Didn't even stop to try to help uh, Tojo. Left that for Samurai and Shogun to do. But Gossett himself left the area and no telling where he is right now. Well, I guess maybe we'll take a break and uh, we'll be back with you here in just a moment. <laughs> 